Hi, my name's Helen and this is my channel, Helen Mary Jo. If you're new here, then welcome. If you're returning, thank you. And if you're a Hell's Bell, hello. I, I don't know if I can keep doing that, to be honest. Anyway, um, oh my goodness, I, I'm virtually packed now for this holiday. Um, so it's been so stressful. Honestly, because trying to think of all the different elements of a holiday like this is just really difficult. Um, so anyway, I think we're there now and um, hopefully I've thought of everything. Got one more night and most of tomorrow so I can kind of go through and, and uh, double check everything. But uh, I think it's at times like this, when you're in the midst of all this, you actually wonder if it's worth going on holiday don't you it's um yeah it's a lot anyway um i've got a haul from sainsbury's too at sainsbury's and uh they're they're such good value i've got um a couple of dresses some t-shirts some trousers shorts not sure about the shorts but if they look reasonable i'll show you and um a, a mac so I will crack on with that. I just want to say thank you as ever for all the, the support that you're giving me and um, for subscribing and getting my numbers up there. It really is heartwarming and um, surprising and all of those other sort of superlatives. So, um, oh, the scammers have been at it again. Please, please, if they say you've won a prize, if they talk about Telegraph, anything like that, just ignore them, report them, whatever. I do do it as soon as I possibly can, but obviously I'm, I am on YouTube a lot, but I'm not on all of the time. So I will crack on with this haul and we'll kind of have a chat as we go through it. And um, I hope you like it. Thank you. So this dress is 100% um, cotton. And I think it's what you call a chambray, really. It's a, it's not that thin. It's a, it's a decent weight denim. And it's um, a size 18, and this was only £25, which I think is jolly good value. In the picture on, on the website, it's sort of more here, but I, I simply can't get it to stay up there. It's just, it's just coming down. I suppose, I don't know what you could do, really. If you really wanted to have it more up, I suppose you could pin it to your bra strap or something. And obviously, I've just slid, slid the straps down so you can still see the indentation but um very nicely made you know compared to the m s dresses this is it's jolly good value it's um sorry i've this got like these ribbons and stuff that holds it on to the um hanger so um it's a good length it's really comfortable it's not super cool so it's um it's perfect dress for the kind of summers that we have here in the UK. It's well because the sleeve is off my shoulder, it's it's more or less full length. But if if I could get it to stay on my shoulder, then it would be more of a three quarter length. But um, it's shared all the way around. And I mean, if you had smaller boobs, you could probably get away with um, not wearing a bra at all. But mine would be held up by my knicker elastic if I did that. So. <laughs> Not a good look, I think you'll agree. So yeah, 25 pounds, I think it's a jolly good, jolly good dress for the money. Really comfortable and it kind of stops above your tummy. So if you've got a bit of a tummy situation, it's quite flattering, kind of cinches you in just under the bust. So yeah, I think it's a really nice dress. I, um, I didn't have any, I didn't buy anything that was kind of um, low stock or, or where they indicated it was low stock. So I'm hoping you'll still be able to get it. And I will put all the links in the description box below this video. So um, I know you can't see that if you're watching on the TV, but if you do it on your laptop or your phone or your iPad or whatever, then you can see the description box and you should just click on the links. I'm wearing my jewellery from near. I've taken to kind of doubling up these two because I, I really like that layered look. And the matching earrings but you know all about those now but uh, I'm, I'm wearing this kind of as a daily daily combination right now so um anyway that's dress number one 
Yes. I've had two phone calls in between trying on those two things because um, the kids are ringing, you know, to say have a nice holiday and all that jazz. Anyway, um, this one oh, is quite interesting, actually, because I've been sitting down. You see how creased this is? That's kind of a test that I wouldn't have. Can you see? Oh, it's really creased, isn't it? That's a shame. It's 100% viscose and it was only £24. And I'd call this like, um, I'd say it's like a funky animal print, isn't it? It's, it's a nice dress. I mean, that's put me off a little bit, to be honest, that creasing. And I mean, when I walk away, you'll be able to see if the dress is, uh, the skirt is creased as well. I mean, it's got these sleeves, which look nice, but you don't want to be doing the washing up in them. But, you know, I, I don't suppose you'd be wearing this dress if you were planning on washing up. So it's called the Purple Leopard Print Midi Dress and it's 100% viscose. I don't know if I said that. And it's got this, oh, the tag's hanging out. Sorry about that. But it's got this large keyhole and um, it's under the bust, fitted and then flared down. So I think it's a really good dress for the for £24. I don't know. I think... You need to be a contortionist in this. No, I don't know if I can do it. Hang on. Has that got rid of it? Yeah, so. Quite nice, isn't it? It's, it's a, it looks a lot more than £24. If you compare this to the price of Marks and Spencer's dresses, which are also quite often viscose, it would take some beating. So that's dress number two. So now I'll go into the separates. So I popped this little um, orange and white striped t-shirt on and it is a slim fit, but it's got a nice length sleeve and it, it's a very nice quality. And I've got it on with these linen rich trousers. Now the trousers are 18 pounds and um, I know they don't go with the t-shirt, but you know, I'm just trying to try try them both on. The trousers are, I think they're half linen, half viscose. 18 pounds is jolly good. And um, the t-shirt is just six pounds. That's incredible, isn't it? I'm not sure. I'm trying to see what it's made of. Hang on, I'll, I'll, I've got it on my laptop here. I'll tell you what it's made from. But six pounds is just ridiculous, isn't it? Um, the trousers fit nicely too. So it's pure cotton. I quite like that. It'd look nice under, you know, under a jacket or something, wouldn't it? Like kind of breads on with a twist. And the trousers are a nice fit. They've got pockets. They, they're just about okay. I've got a slight, not a huge heel, probably inch and a half wedge. Um, I'd wear them with a longer top because of my tummy. But um, really very good value. It's a shame if this t-shirt was navy and white, I would literally snap it up. This is an 18. I did buy a 20 as well, uh, just to see, because I thought this might be too close, but I think it's fine actually, especially with a shirt or something over it. And I like the length of the sleeve. So that's um, six pounds, pure cotton, 18 pounds for the viscose linen mix. And I've got a couple of other tops. So I'll just switch the tops over and see what they look like. Now this is a black shirt. It's got a nice three quarter length sleeve, a collar, open, and then a placket with three nice buttons actually. They're like a they're like a faux mother of pearl, I think. It's quite neat fitting over my tummy and hips. Again, this is an 18, and this is 92% viscose and 8% polyamide, which probably means it wouldn't crease as easily. I think it's a very smart shirt you know for the office or if you um well i mean it's just a really handy shirt i'm guessing it's got a slight i don't know if you can see probably can't see it's got um 
kind of a line in it, like a self, a self line. But I think it's a, did I say how much it was? Goodness, sorry. I'm 15 pounds and they've got it in um, a very pale pink or this black. So I think that's a jolly good shirt for the money. And it's, it's nice that it's not huge. I mean, it is literally just fitting me here. So, but I think you could go up quite easily. It's got pockets here, but because they're the same color and everything, it's not like they don't really stand out or make your boobs look any bigger or anything. But I think that's quite a handy little shirt actually for 15 pounds. And the pale pink's nice too. Quite tempted by the pink. At the moment, they seem to have it in nearly all the sizes in the pink and everything bar size 24. Because these do go up to a size 26, these shirts. And I think most of the two stuff does go up into the um, larger sizes. So that's always good. And these are real buttons as well, like buttonholes as such. So, yeah, I think that's a good, good, very good value. I will say that. And I paid for delivery because it was, I wanted it quickly, but I think if you can have it delivered to your local store. And the other really good thing about Sainsbury's is that if you take it back to the store, they credit you very quickly. And we've got a little local one just up the road here. So that's handy. Anyway, I'll pop. I think the next one's a t-shirt. Mm, not sure. It looks a bit like a pajama top, doesn't it? I think if you were younger, and a bit funkier, or maybe maybe it looked nice with jeans, I don't know. But this was just nine pounds and it's pure cotton and it comes in the green and white or plain orange. And it's got the raglan sleeve, as you can see, and they call it um, green color block oversized t-shirt. It's not really, I'll show you, it's not really oversized as such, I would say. Um, or maybe because I'm oversized, it's not oversized. But it's a little bit different, isn't it? Um, I can't get past it looking a bit like a pyjama top. But it's a lovely quality. Really lovely quality and nicely made. And I think maybe with a pair of jeans and a kind of, you know, more of a, a denim kind of vibe going on. I'm not so keen on this. And then the other thing is I always stress over white and colours together because trying to keep the white really white and I'm really a bit fussy about that stuff um, is a problem but really good value. I mean honestly it's a lovely cotton. Really really good quality. So yeah I'm impressed with the quality and at the moment they've got it in 14, 16, 18, 20 and 22. I'm going to try and get this video out today. So um, if you're quick, I know obviously this is only for people in the UK. I don't know if Ireland can do it, but anyway, it's a bit weird. It's kind of quite low down here. Anyway, it's nice, but I, I won't keep it. I don't need it. Well, anyway, Lee said, it's so interesting, isn't it? Because I really didn't expect to like this shirt. I'll be honest with you. I just popped it in the basket as kind of as I was ordering anyway. It's 100% viscose. And it's, as you can see, it's got all these leopards on it. But I think it's really nice. I, I'm not sure I'll have to do the crease test. And by that, I mean, I always kind of grab a handful and squeeze it hard and, and see. Well, I'll do that now when I'm talking to you. But this was only... 15 pounds yeah it's a bit creasy but probably no well certainly not as much as linen and it is this kind of wide look and um, but it's got a nice tail back I'll show you this is an 18 as well I think with a pair of jeans this would look really cool and it's buttoned through so you can always you know don't, I think it looks really nice it's got long sleeves, buttons. I really like the colour of the blue and I really like the print. It's a little bit different and it's long enough. It just about covers my tummy and it certainly covers here. I'm five foot six, if anyone still doesn't know. But I think with jeans or um, a white, 
pair of trousers, jeans or linen trousers or whatever. Well, you probably wouldn't wear linen with it, would you? Because it, I mean, it's not going to be that hot if you're wearing a long sleeve. I only wear linen when it's really hot because of the ironing situation. But, um, oh dear, I think that looks like a lot more than £15 worth. So, um, I think I've got one more top to, to show you. Oh, crikey. My intention was not to keep any of this order, I'll be honest with you. But I'm quite taken with the trousers and I'm quite taken with this shirt and I'm quite taken. Helen, what are you like? I just... I'll look at the video and then I'll decide. Oh, uh, excuse me. I'll um, see what's next. So this this is nearly it now. So this is called a cobalt blue oversized poplin shirt, and it is oversized, and it is definitely cobalt blue. It's only fifteen pounds. They do it in white, black, and blue, and um, it is pure cotton. It's just not. It's, I don't know why, it's just kind of, I know this sounds ridiculous, but it's kind of like too solid blue for me, for my liking. But, you know, maybe they've shown it worn open. If you wore it open with a white vest top underneath, I think it would break it up. It's a bit too much of a colour. I know that sounds ridiculous because, anyway, that's just what I think. So, um, again, this is an 18. So... It's a lot of shirt for 15 quid. Did I say 15? Do you know what? I've got so many numbers in my head. 15, yeah, 15 pounds. And uh, it's got a pocket here, nice collar, um, full length sleeves. They are quite long, but you can always put, I mean, maybe, you know, oh, I thought saw a thing the other day and it's, oh, you know how they try and wheel you in with these, um, reel you in, not wheel you in, to these um, clickbait things. And they said, what does Meghan Markle always do um, to make herself look slimmer? Like she needs to look slimmer. She's absolutely slim as a reed. But she always rolls her sleeves up, apparently. And they showed loads of photographs. Dolly, you're going to break my neck. Dolly. Hello, Dolly. Say hello. Um, my accessory. Uh, so, yeah, it does look better. I think with a bit more flesh... You know, as I say, maybe with a vest top underneath, break it up a bit. And the, yeah, it does definitely look better, doesn't it? It doesn't look like such a big block of colour. But it's jolly good value for £15, I have to say. And I'm sure it'll iron up lovely. It, it, it is a pure cotton poplin, so, you know, it's going to crease. But um, it will equally iron up really nicely. So the shorts look flipping awful, so I'm not showing you those. They're a... They're a soft short, and the trouble is, if you've got heavy legs, they just kind of rise up between your legs, and I'm just not showing you because they looked awful. And then the final thing I've got is this shower-resistant raincoat, um, and this was £42, which seems like a lot compared to everything else, but it is fully lined um, with this leopard print lining, and it looks really nice in the photograph. I haven't actually looked at it in the mirror, but um, oh, it's very big. Gosh, I don't think it said it was oversized. This is an 18. This is in camel. They call it a shower resist car coat, but it's huge. It reminds me of like one of those dirty old men max that they used to talk about. I, I could have definitely gone down to a 16 in this. I think it's too, it's too big. Um, very small. I like the fact that it's just straight, you know, it's got nothing going on. If you wanted to, you could turn the cuffs back to show that that lining. It's a really nice fabric, I have to say. Nice buttons. It looks a lot more than £42, pound, but it is too big on me. They have got it in all the sizes from 8 to 24. And um, if you're in the market for a smart raincoat, I think this absolutely fits the bill. So you wouldn't know that this was from Sainsbury's at all, especially, I mean, if you didn't, if you didn't roll those down, because that kind of does stamp it in a way, doesn't it? You know, 
without the cuffs rolled back, it could be from anywhere. Um, but I think that's excellent, but too big for me. Because even on the hips, there's a, a sort of a six inch, five inch overlap. So it's just too big. It just looks a bit ridiculous. So, um, oh, show my boots and my bra. Um, that's everything today. I had hoped to do a live. I just haven't had the time and I didn't want to kind of rush it and resent it and put stress on myself because that's, that's not fair on anybody, is it? You know, um, so I will be doing some vlogging while I'm away and, um, I'm sure you'll care to meet Rob and, um, yeah, Katie's moving in here. So it's kind of double stress because, um, I've got to get the house ready for them because they're, they're having their bathroom ripped out. So the timing was brilliant in that regard, but it does mean, I mean, it's, it's, it's six to one half to the other. It's great because they're looking after Dolly. So I haven't had to worry about her, but it also means that I've got to leave the house kind of ready for them to move into as well. So, you know, that's a big consideration too. And um, apart from that, we set off tomorrow and um, yeah, next stop, Bali. <laughs> I still can't believe it. It's only really kind of dawning on me now what a huge trip this is. I know, I know I've said it was a huge trip and I know some ladies have said like, stop going on about it. But for us, this is a place we never thought we'd go on a holiday we never thought we'd have and it's really up there for us you know some people this might just be nothing and other people it will still be out of their reach so I know how lucky we are but um it's taken an awful lot of planning and paying for and everything else so um I hope you know that I do know how lucky I am and I mean, never, I'm never showing off. Like, honestly, I never am showing off. So I hope you know that. And um, I'll see you really soon. If you don't follow me on Insta, I mean, if you haven't subscribed, I always leave this too late, don't I? But please like and subscribe the video on YouTube. And I don't know if you do Instagram, but I'll probably put more photographs on Instagram because obviously YouTube is more about videos than photographs. I might do a couple of shorts. I really don't know how it's all going to pan out. Um, so anyway, watch this space and I'll see you really soon. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Bye.